Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Owl Tarot and I'm here to give you guys your um, general weekly love reading for the week of September 7th through September 13th. Also, you will find below a timestamp for the situation that most resonates with you. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put in this reading, I'm going to put the singles reading, the couples reading, the, the couples that are in a connection right now, a new connection, and then the couples that are in separation, okay? So all of this will be together in this particular reading for a specific sign, all right? Okay, a couple things before we get started, guys. This is a general weekly love reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, so please take what does and leave the rest behind. Also, this reading is meant to give you an idea of the energy that is coming towards you this week, so please don't forget to check out the, your other placements so you can get be a better understanding of what's coming towards you. <clears throat> Another thing is time is fluid. So whenever you find yourself whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. And the thirteen the third thing <laughs> is that there is no gender in tarot, so please reverse the rules as need be. Alrighty guys, let's get started. So I went ahead, I shuffled your cards, I meditated, I asked the universe, the archangels, spirit, angels, guides and guardians, what is coming towards you for this week and I have the answers right in front of me so let's get started guys alrighty in this reading this reading this timestamp is particularly for my singles what's coming towards my singles looking for love this week okay so this is meant for my singles that are looking for love this week so at the head of your reading guys I ask what can I do to improve my love life you are being asked to release um, Aries I feel that you guys are shy you guys might be a shy bunch aries generally isn't shy but you might be a shy bunch you might be the type that just kind of stays within doesn't really socialize doesn't really open up and you're being asked to release them to let that go like um with the tower they're asking you to release that that quietness that shyness of yourself that's what i'm getting from these cards they're asking you to open up more so you can Go ahead and start meeting more people. Like start going now. Start doing different things because you you are a rather shy Aries, which Aries tend not to be shy, but they do tend to be kind of they keep they they're kind of quiet. They kind of keep to themselves. Some of them, not all of them. Okay. <laughs> the second uh, second question I ask is, will you be meeting someone soon? Yep, there's definitely someone that is coming towards you guys. Um, at the at the beginning when you meet this person. This person's gonna be like, um, he or she is gonna seem like they're an in and out energy, like the Knight of Wands, or like they just wanna come around it and have sex and just pretty much be with you when they wanna be with you, then they're gone, they won't text you for another week or two. So, this is the energy you're gonna get from this person at the beginning, but truth be told, no, this person sees you as an emperor, as an empress, okay? They see you as the one. They wanna go ahead and take this leap of faith with you with the four here they're going to want to start a new beginning with you so basically your person possibly in the past was a night of wands in and out energy with all these other people but once they meet you they're going to see you and they're going to be like no you're the one you're the one that i want to make a life with you're the one that i want to have a family with because they're definitely going to want to take that leap of faith with you okay Okay. And then the next question is, will this be a committed connection with the person that you're going to get ready to meet? And Aries, yeah, there's going to be a couple things that this person is going to have to kind of let you know. These secrets don't seem to be too much of a, of a game changer in this situation. But there's some things that this person is going to have to relate to you in order to move forward in this connect, connect, connection. Uh, at one point when this person starts revealing this information, it might kind of leave you in the hangman mode. It's going to leave you in your thoughts because you're going to retrieve again to that hangman mode. You're going to you know, go within and try to figure out, is this the person I want to be with? But this person wants a higher level of commitment with you. I feel that whatever this person might have to disclose to is that they were probably previously married or going through a divorce. That's what I'm getting, okay? That's going to... That's gonna, kind of put the connection in the hangman mode that's going to put you in the hangman mode because if this person is currently going through a divorce where well, you guys can move forward into a committed legal union okay so that's going to kind of put the, the the relationship that part of the relationship on hold that's what i'm getting here but the person this person that you're getting ready to meet as you guys start conversating more and start remaining 
back and forth secrets or, or whatever you want the other person to know of you this is this is one of the things that's probably going to come out is either this person has been previously married and got a divorce already or is currently in the divorce process mm -hmm. all right guys and then how what what type of value is this relationship going to bring to you aries um what what is this person that's getting ready to come into your life what are they going to bring to you balance this person is going to balance out all the negative crap that you've been through with the temperance there's going to be this person is going to balance it out i i just got it a message where it says whomever backstabbed you whomever, whomever treated you like crap that person is going to make up for it in the way that he's going to treat you like a king or he's going to treat you like a queen you know what i mean this person he or she when the guy's gender is not specific um, to take the roles and reverse them as need be. But um, this person is going to come in and balance all the heartache with this eight of wands, all the deception, all the lies, all, all the bullshit that, that people have put you through. This person is going to come in and balance that out because this person is going to show you how you don't have to be defensive. You don't have to go into hermit mode. You don't have to be quiet. You don't have to isolate yourself. You don't have to expect a tower because not everything is going to go wrong for you, okay? This person is going to come in and balance all those negative parts of yours so you can move forward and have a beautiful union with this person i feel that you're gonna be um you're gonna be a little bit standoffish aries when you first meet them because you're so used to coming across shitty people that that truth be told don't deserve your time your energy nor your love and this person is going to seem like i told you at the beginning it's going to seem like he or she is a um this in and out energy just because of the way that they're so um people might say oh no they're always cheating over they with everybody blah 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 and i think that that's what you're gonna feel at the beginning but as you get to know this person as you get to feel this person's energy and, and get into those intimate conversations and stuff you're gonna come to realize that no that this person is a good person and this person is coming into your life for a reason not for a season okay this person's coming in for a lifetime that's what i'm getting this person is going to teach you that you don't need to be perfect okay this is the advice from the universe your angels you don't need to be perfect this person is teaching you that you don't need to be perfect you can have flaws because guess what we all have flaws and always always have self-work for yourself okay this person is going to teach you how to always have that self-work how to always value yourself and everything you do for yourself and for others. And don't be insecure. Release the insecurities because this person is coming in. You see that guy with the heart and has his hands across his chest? And then the devil saying, right? Your, your person is coming in to teach you not everybody is the same. He, he or she is not going to be the same as the past person or the past two people, okay? This person is coming in to teach you. To teach you that you are lovable, that you have a lot of self worth. If they're gonna teach you how to find your self worth, that's what I'm trying to say. You're not perfect. You might be perfect to them in their eyes, but you're not perfect. We all make mistakes. We all go through our fair share of bullshit. And this person is coming in to teach you how to release, how to release, how to balance things out, how to understand that he or she are not coming in here to backstab you. They want a commitment with you. They want to teach you how you should be loved, how you should be taken care of, okay? how you should be valued, and how you should be respected. Alrighty, Aries, I hope this resonates for you guys. I hope you meet this person soon because I feel that this person is going to be such a beautiful asset to your life and they're going to teach you so many beautiful things. Alrighty, Aries, I hope this resonates for you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.